Hey, do you have Discord? Wow, me too. You should join mine. Alright, before I start this, I actually forgot to go over my team in the video, so I'm gonna go over it now. Uh, unfortunately, with this stupid thing, I can't actually check their summaries, uh, but I can still go over it. So, yeah, uh, it, I'm just gonna do this quickly. <laughs> We got Rotom, it's obviously just the choice specs. Um, it's, it has Trick, I haven't used Trick at all yet, because I only used it in two battles, but uh, eh, uh, yeah, it's just it's just the choice specs. Rotom, there's nothing to say about it, it's max speed. Dragapult is like a Dynamaxer with weakness policy, it has Reflect so it can actually survive something and then get hit for the weakness policy. I don't really like it as much because I don't really have a way to trigger the weakness policy myself. I. On a different team, I had like a Fling Whimsicott with Pattaya Berry, which was pretty funny. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have that on this team, so I'm relying on the enemy to hit me, which is kind of like... Eh, but you know, it's still pretty good. Um, it's still really good. Once Dragapult gets a weakness policy off, it's pretty much unstoppable. And the nice thing about not having a Fling Whimsicott is that I can actually run max speed on Dragapult, so... It'll usually be faster than everything, except for other Dragapults. Um, Butterfree is Gigantamax. It's just to support Butterfree, but not... Full support, I guess. It's Gigantamax, so it needed Hurricane to max Airstream. I'm not, I'm, yeah, it's just a Water Free, it has Rage Powder to Sleep Powder for support, and then it can, it can Gigantamax if it needs to. Gyarados is Assault Vest, uh, it's, it's another Intimidator. I have two, which is probably a bad idea, but yeah, it's, it's Assault Vest with four attacks. And then Arcanine is a support Arcanine with, you know, burn. It has a lot of HP investment, and then you know, decent defenses. It's not EV'd super well, but it, it has, like, EVs in both defenses. It has what it needs, and it does its job well. It's actually fantastic. I love this Arcanine. It's so funny. And the star of the show is Surf Edged. Um, it has superpower instead of close combat. Most people seem to take close combat. I think superpower is actually pretty funny when you have leak, since when you crit, it'll ignore your attack drops. And, with, and if you have close combat, it drops your special defense. This way, it's like it's only dropping your defense instead of your defense and attack. Of course, it's not always guaranteed to crit, so it's kind of relying heavily on RNG, but, you know, I thought it'd be interesting to do. And it has knockoff. And Poison Jab actually always kills, like, Tobikiss. Uh, so, that's the point of that. Especially if you Dynamax, Max Ooze, even though it raises your special attack, which isn't that great. Uh, it, it should still one-shot Tobikiss, especially when it crits. So that's the point of it having that instead of Leaf Blade. Most of them usually take Leaf Blade, but I felt that having Poison Jab for Fairies, since I don't have anything else for Fairies on this team, would be a nice thing to surprise Togekisses or uh, Whimsicots with. So, yeah, that's it. Let's go into the video. I just wanted to play some ranked battles. I haven't played many ranked battles this season, and it ends in March, so I wanted to, you know, see if I could climb at least. Um, I'm using a really bad team that I just finished making, and I wanted to test it out, and I'm testing it out right now, I literally have not used it at all. <laughs> it's very- I don't think it's good. I'm using Surfetch because I wanted to, but it's really not worth it. Uh, there's so many better fighting types, I really don't think Surfetch is worth it. I should have gone over the team before I started, but whatever. That would remind me what it does too, because this team doesn't even have a strategy, it's so bad. <laughs> I don't know why I made this. Uh, okay. Well, he's clearly either beat up or tailwind for the Dracovish and the Lucario with that Whimsicott, so I'm guessing he's going to lead with one of those two. Um, his Gengar is probably to stop Trick Room with Imprison, and then he just has a Togekiss. Um, so, I'm using Surfetched. Um, this is actually it seems like a good game to take Surfetched. Uh, because it beats everything except for Gengar because my Surfetch is not scrappy because I didn't have one with a hidden ability uh, Like I said, this is a really bad team. I made it very quickly because I just wanted to play this um, It's steadfast instead of scrappy um, And it has poison jab because poison jab crit with leak always kills Togekiss. So that's that's why it has that um, <laughs> It's not very good. This is so bad. This is such a bad team, but I'm using it anyways so I'm guessing he's going to lead Whimsicott and something, uh, one of those two. Hopefully he doesn't lead with Togekiss, because I'm not going to lead with Surfetch, though. Uh, if I lead with Butterfree, uh, this Butterfree is Gigantamax if I need to, but it's not. that's not its main purpose. If I lead with Butterfree and Rage Powder, he can't go for beat up, so that would counter it. Um, then for... 
Actually, I need to, I need to hurry up. Let's bring Rotom, and then I'll bring Surfetch and Arcanine. The, uh, I'll go over the rest of the team as it comes, but, you know, it's, it's just a team I made in two seconds, and I just wanted to play ranked battle, so here I am. Togekiss Whimsicott, that's not really what I expected, but, you know, it's, it's actually really bad. I, I'm not feeling great against this Togekiss. I don't know what Whimsicott's gonna go for, I'm probably just gonna Tailwind, there's not really much else. It's, I, I don't think it does much else. Now, I was gonna say I usually wouldn't Dynamax. <laughs> I usually wouldn't Gigantamax this Butterfree, but I think this might actually be a good chance to... If I can status the, the Togekiss, that would be really good for me, in the long run. So, let me... actually... Okay, let me go ahead and... Sleep Powder... No, wait, that's a bad idea. Okay, I'm gonna Dynamax, because I don't have much time. Let's max Airstream, the Wings got, and then I'm gonna go ahead and Thunderbolt. This isn't really the best plan, but it's... it's the safest, I guess into his own Rotom. He's just gonna click Tailwind. Um, is that it? Is he just gonna Tailwind? <laughs> he's probably just gonna Tailwind. At least I know he's not gonna go for a beat-up. He could have swapped into a beat-up, actually, but he didn't, so that's a bit safer. I went for Airstream instead of, um, instead of the other one, which is actually bad. Wait, no, it's good, because it doesn't work on grass types, I'm pretty sure. Um, GMAX Befuddle counts as a powder move, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% with that, so don't call me on it, but... I shouldn't have locked myself into Thunderbolt. It was definitely the best thing to go for, um... I should have gone for Volt Switch, not Thunderbolt. That was a bad idea. But I didn't really think through, since I had no time left. I'm still slower than him since he has Tailwind up. Uh, Butterfree's not that fast of a Pokemon. Yeah, here's Togekiss. Okay. So I could use this chance to max Airstream again. Um, but I think it actually. Let, let me try to go for G Max Befuddle. No. I'm gonna max Guard because uh, to protect against this Thunderbolt, and then I can use Rotom's turn to just blast the Togekiss, I guess. But then what? I, I know it's not gonna die, so it doesn't really accomplish anything, but at least it'll, uh, give me a turn, because I don't know if he's gonna... No, he's not gonna do anything crazy, but, but yeah, let's just do that. Thunderbolt for Togekiss. I don't think Togekiss dies to this, though. Unless it's no investment, especially since it's Dynamax now, yeah. I forgot about Dynamax. I haven't played ranked battles in a while. <laughs> I need to get back into this. I only played three battles this season. I wanted to play more, because I'm not going to get to do VGC this year, there's no VGC tournaments near me, so I'm not going to have the time to go, I'm not traveling for that. Hopefully he max airstreams into Butterfree. Oh, that would have one shot, wow, okay. He's weakness policy though, just max airstream into Butterfree and we'll be good, because Rotom's faster than it. Perfect, okay. And perfect. So it dies to Thunderbolt now. Unless he max guards. And even if he does, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna G-Max Befuddle into Rotom. And then I'm gonna Thunderbolt. That went well. I'm glad he did the super obvious play instead of cheesing me with something I didn't expect. I still have Surfetched and um, Arcanine in the back, so I he, he brought a pretty weak team to what I brought, so I don't think he has that much of a chance. I don't know what his last thing is. Yeah, just Max Yard. That's what I, I knew he'd do that, but there's not really much else for me to do with Thunderbolt. <laughs> there's no point in Thunderbolt and Rotom. It would have done zero damage. Don't care. Good. I don't think he specs. Otherwise, that would have killed me. <laughs> Not killed me, but it would have done a bit more, I feel. Because I'm, I'm not any special defense investment. He might not even be max special attack. 
I feel like I should have done way more, even without investment. <laughs> so Butterfree's not known for being a bulky Pokemon. Lucario. Okay, yeah, he did bring beat up, but he didn't switch into it for some reason. I feel like that would have been the play to swap into Lucario turn one and just beat it up. Alright, Togekiss is useless because it fell asleep. Do I rage about it? No, let's just click Hurricane. <laughs> well, his Tailwind's still up, right? Hold on. Uh, yeah, he still has one more turn of Tailwind. I could stall it out, but I really don't want Togekiss to do anything. Uh, let's Sleep Powder. Because he's not going to kill Rotom with Lucario, so I can just spend my turn Thunderbolting Togekiss. Thunder Punch, that's fine. I'm glad I didn't go for Rage Powder. I mean, I could have, but it didn't change anything. Now I can just go into Surf Fetched. Let me explain Surf Fetched a little bit more. I give it Super Power instead of Close Combat. Because uh, I know it doesn't really have any crit moves, which is I really shouldn't have the leak, but <laughs> the reason I do have the leak is because um, if if superpower like the point of using superpower over close combat is that it doesn't lower my special defense, and so I can go for superpower, and if my attack is lowered and I crit, then it doesn't matter. So that's why it has superpower instead of close combat. This way I can keep my special bolt fight a little bit more, I guess. At the same time, I don't have any guaranteed crit moves, so I'm really hoping for the RNG with that Surf Edged. <laughs> Which is not a good thing to do. But, hey, I, I, I'm doing it anyways. Oh, it was physically defensive? Can I check? Oh yeah, it was full physical defense. Well, not full, but, you know, it was physically defensive. Engar was exactly what I said it would be. This is just... it's just a drink of ish. It was beat up. He should have just swapped into that in Lucario, I think. I mean... Yeah, I would have Thunderbolted Lucario, but I think it still would have been worth it. And then he could have gotten the Tailwind up second turn, and I wouldn't be able to really do anything about it. It's Switcheroo. Does he have that? The check button. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. And this... was was it Special Attack? It did have... A decent amount of special attack. Still did less damage to Butterfree than I thought it would. Alright, well, I gotta take Freddy out, so I'm gonna cut this. Oh yeah. Alright. Time for another battle. Since I didn't lose that one like I expected. Uh, what do I wanna use? Let's use, uh... Let's use the second best theme in the game. Honestly, the top three, like, just best music tracks in this game are Bead, Gym Leader, and uh, Oleana, in no particular order. But I've decided that <laughs> Bead is the second best, so you'll have to guess what the other two are. Let's see. Uh, he has Pikachu, which I'm worried about. Um, he's probably gonna lead with Pikachu, and then, um... And then Togekiss and Whimsic or Whimsicott, and he can either Tailwind or follow me. Uh, and then if he brings Tailwind, he'll bring Dracovish, and if he brings Tailwind, he'll probably bring Excadrill, I'm guessing. That's his plan. So, I, I'm i not 100% he's going to bring Pikachu, but since my team's really weak to Pikachu, like just being paralyzed, he's probably going to bring Pikachu. Um, what do I do about that? I could Rage Powder, but then i just get blown up, so I'd have to max guard in order to block it. And then what can I do about it? Pikachu should die to, like, anything. <laughs> like, instantly. So if I lead with Butterfree and Dynamax it, because if I lead with Butterfree, he'll he'll he he'll use the Pika move on it. Actually, let's go with Gyarados. We lead with Gyarados and then, um, something that's not weak to it. So let's bring Rotom. Not Rotom. No, yeah, let's go with Rotom, because I can just Leaf Storm it. And then in the back, I'll bring... Uh, Arcanine and Dragapult. Actually, no, not Dragapult, because I want to max. So let's bring... Fetched. 
Uh, yeah. Hopefully that's good. Surface should be... Yeah, Surface is decent against their team, I think. Uh, it's full it's full HP, full attack, so I'm not uh, entirely confident in its ability to survive most things, but I do know it survives Togekiss's Dazzling Gleam, and that's all it needs to do to get a Poison Jab off. So, that's its main purpose. Yeah, he's just gonna tail them. So, I'm gonna go ahead and Dynamax... Oh, wait, I'm, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I am so stupid. This was the stupidest thing I could have done. So, Gyarados' is Assault Vest... And I don't have max guard. The point of this was to max guard and block Pikachu's move, but I can't do that because <laughs> I'm, I'm assault vest. <laughs> that was I'm not very smart, honestly. But I'm gonna go for earthquake anyway, uh, in case I live, which I won't. I'm not even gonna bother trying to switch because I don't just I just don't really want to get either of these two paralyzed either. So we're just gonna go with that, and I'm gonna just leaf storm into Pikachu because he doesn't have follow me. Um, Pikachu should die. Even Dynamax, I feel like it'll die to a choice specs leaf storm. I hope. Well, it's it's definitely just um, sashed. They're always oh, wait, it's not sashed. What am I stupid? It's it's light ball. So it'll it'll probably die to leaf storm. This was a mistake. I I, I made a really bad play. <laughs> if I had just led with Butterfree like I first thought, then this would have been fine. Yeah, that, that's just me throwing away Gyarados. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. If I was Wakanberry, maybe I'd live. Even then, I'd actually... I'm not sure. If I was, like, bulky Wakanberry, it would've lived. But at least I got rid of Pikachu. It's one for one. He's probably gonna go into Drake this year. Which means I can go into Surfetched and Detect and then try to Leaf Storm again, but then what? Uh, if I had brought Butterfree like I said I was, I could have done something else. Hmm. Okay, let me go into going to Surfetch, because I think Surfetch can survive a Fish's Friend if I swap and then... Well, no, I'm gonna detect. I'm gonna detect the Fish's Friend and swap into Arcanine. Uh, I just want to get the Intimidate off, and then I can do something else. We'll see what to do from there. Uh, hopefully I can... I can probably just Dynamax Surfetch and go for like a Helping Hand boosted move. <clears throat> I'm guessing that the Whimsic class is going to Moonblast Surfetched as well. I think they're going to ignore Rotom since it's minus two. Unless he predicts my Rotom swap. But I think it'd still be just more worth it for him to go for Ficious Rend on Surfetched. Please don't Ficious Rend <laughs> Arcanine. Ice Fang! Okay, well he's stuck into that, um, I'm guessing. Yeah, he's locked into it. Cool. So, uh, he's useless right now. So let's go ahead and take care of the Whimsicott while he swaps. Oh, what's he gonna swap into? What does he have? Um... If he, had, if he brought Togekiss, that could be a problem. I could go for Snarl. I don't know if Snarl's actually worth it right here. But I think I should... Actually, yeah. I'm definitely gonna go for Snarl. I don't think he'll stay in if he's choiced. Um, and uh, there's no point trying to burn it if it's not going to work. Yeah, he's going to swap. Okay. And Togekiss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not good. Now I can't kill the that, but at least I got a Snarl off. So the thing about Encore is I can actually Dynamax to ignore it. Which I'm gonna do right now. Uh, actually, it's probably not a good idea. I don't know if I survive a max Starfall. <laughs> that's an 80 power, that's 90 power. Actually, I should survive max Starfall when I'm Dynamaxed and also he's minus one. So let me go ahead and. Dude, did my Detect fail just now? No, either way, he'll probably just Dynamax. So let me go ahead and Dynamax and Max Ooze. 
the the, the Toby kiss, and then I can go for another. Ooh, let's helping hand actually. That that guarantees it kills. Thing is though, I'm not sure if Surfetch is gonna survive a Moonblast and Max Starfall. But but Whimsicott's faster, so Whimsicott's Moonblast won't be this Detroit boost. Dude. I don't know if this was a good idea. I'm just banking on the fact that I hope Surfetch survives. I just Dynamax Surfetch in front of two fairies. Okay, yeah. Okay, well he didn't Dynamax me. He's just air slashing. Well, I won't get... Oh, cool. It missed. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I don't know why he didn't go for a Dazzling Lane. Get that off my screen. Thank you. He definitely should have just Dynamax. That was, that was strange. Tailwind's gone, but he'll just set it back up again next turn. I don't know if it's worth it to get rid of Whimsicott. Actually, it definitely is. He's gonna Encore me and it'll be really annoying. So, he's gonna Ficious Rend. He's gonna Ficious Rend into Arcanine, I'm guessing, which I don't really want. Hold on, what's this do? There's a little special defense. Um, that might be worth it. But I think it. Hmm. Let me go for Max Knuckle, I think. Because he's gonna expect me to swap, I feel. I think he's gonna feel like like I'm gonna swap into. Yeah, let me. Actually, let me just Max Zeus. Let's get rid of Whimsicott. I. He's gonna Tailwind here, so I can't stop that. But I'm hoping that he'll. Vicious Rend. Surfetch? Ah, screw it. Let's just protect. No, let me. Little Wisp. Little Wisp. Into Drake Wish. I'm gonna hope that he thinks I'm gonna swap into Rotom, and I'm gonna try to Will-O-Wisp. I, I should have just gone for Protect, that wasn't a good idea. Oh no, okay, good, I made the right play. Thank god. <laughs> if I had just gone for Protect, that would have been a mistake. He didn't expect me to swap into Rotom. Unfortunately, I didn't get to kill uh, Whimsicott, but at least it's burned. Alright, so, Rotom is a problem for me right now, <laughs> because I either lock myself into Thunderbolt, or I lock myself into Leaf Storm. And either way, that's kind of an issue, because I won't really be able to kill Whimsicott with either of my Pokemon. They won't be able to kill me either, though. So I think if I just focus all my efforts on taking out Dracovish... We should be okay. I could, like, swap items with one of my Pokemon, but I don't think that's a good idea. I think it's better for me to just go for Helping Hand and, and to Thunderbolt. I could have Leaf Storm, but I don't want to do zero damage to this Whimsicott later. Don't run on my special attack. Hey, it lived! <laughs> Thanks, that's why I, you invest in defense. At least a little bit. It's not intimidated, is it? No, it's not. That's it's just because it's burned. Okay, okay, we won this. I think. There's, there's nothing else Whimsicott should be able to do. I could Helping Hand some more, but I think it'd be more worth it to just burn it. And I can Snarl it to death. I'm just burning for the chip damage in case I don't do enough damage to this. Oh, he crit me. Of course he did. I should've just gone for Snarl, because the next Moonblast wouldn't have killed me. I mean, the next two shouldn't have killed me if he didn't crit me there. <laughs> and I missed that anyway. Alright, let me just Helping Hand. There's no point in Snarl. The Helping Hand Thunderbolt kills. It still survived. <laughs> Alright, this is pretty over. And by pretty over, I mean it's over. Cool. 
this team isn't letting me down yet. I mean, I'm still in Great Ball, so I don't expect it to yet. But I plan on making this ranked battle thing, like, kind of a series, I guess. So, yeah, let's see. So it was, it was a special Pikachu. Those moves are interesting. I don't know why it's Thunder Wave when it's supposed to be Gigantamax. I feel like you just want more coverage there, right? But, no, Thunder Wave, I guess, is still useful, but I, I feel like you wouldn't bring this thing if you weren't gonna Gigantamax it. Feels a little strange to me. Uh, let's see, this is just he, he honestly should have brought this. This would have obliterated me. <laughs> I, it looks like sacking Gyarados wasn't that big a deal. Alright, uh, it's just one of these. And then this was Banded. Okay. It was Banded Tailwind. It didn't protect. It never went to protect. There's not really- I don't- I don't- I don't really like Protect Whimsicott. I don't- I feel like I shouldn't be critiquing- critiquing this guy's team right now, but I don't- I, I don't feel like Whimsicott really needs it. I feel like it just does its job and then it's gone. This was, uh, maybe very... It's like the opposite of mine. This one's actually an attacker. Alright, well I think that's enough for now, so... Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll probably do more of these in the future. Yeah, um... And I'll probably upload the team at some point. Um, if you want it, then join my Discord. It's in the description, and also at, at the beginning of this video, but also in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.